Hello everyone, welcome back to Gadge Ministries. My name is Gadge. If you're new to the channel, welcome. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for reconnecting with me again. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your uh, sharing the video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for everything. You all are amazing. I pray for you all every single day. Okay, so we are going to continue on the teaching of the prophetic word of God relating to God's promise for his people. And in this particular video, as with the last few I've done, the focus is on marriage for those that God has called into receiving the gift and blessing of marriage. We're going to be um, praying first and then we're going to go right into some scriptures, actually one scripture first and then the, the rest of them as we um, get along. Father, thank you for this opportunity to bring your word unto your people. I pray that right now, Holy Spirit, you will take over, take over, Holy Spirit, and speak through me. I surrender myself to you right now, that you will speak through me the right words that will bless your people, that will uplift them, empower them to live a life of obedience to your word that will bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so the first scripture we're going to read is from the book of Deuteronomy 28. Verse 1 to 5, and that says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your heads and the lambs of your flocks, your basket and your knitting throw will be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the subtopic, I can tell that you already have an idea. <laughs> the subtopic for this prophetic sermon is blessings for obedience. Blessings for obedience, right? We must understand that obedience is key. We must understand that before anything else. When we are in Christ, we must understand that obedience to God's word is key. A lot of the times, um, God doesn't make a move until you obey what he has asked you to do. God wouldn't make a move until, until you obey what he has asked you to do. And when God tells us to do something, it could be, it could be something that looks unimportant or irrelevant to us or doesn't make sense, but it is extremely important that you just obey God right? It's extremely important that we obey God. And I'm going to explain and, you know, help you understand how this ties into receiving the blessing of marriage from your heavenly father, right? Praise God. Okay. And also, um, it could be something as um, little as, you know, being intentional about your prayer life. You know, God could be saying to you, you know, be more intentional about, you know, your prayer life or your fasting life and things like that. You know, pray more, right? Because he's telling you to do all these things for a very, you know, important reason. Something that's going to help you not only now in the present, but something that's going to help you in the future in your marriage, right? So you need to understand that you are on a training ground, you are on a training ground while you are in your season of waiting, while you are in this place of being by yourself and alone, you, you need to understand that you are on a training ground and your obedience to God's word is what is going to help to facilitate and speed up the delivery of your blessing. And in this context, we're speaking about marriage, but this also applies to every other thing that you are believing God for, that you are expecting from God. Obedience is key. Obedience is very, very key. And while I was preparing this sermon as well, I received in my spirit from God that there, there are some of you that are still engaging in sexual sins and God has warned some of you about this to, to stop this. And to quit this and to and to fully surrender to him. But you have chosen to ignore God. You have chosen to ignore God. God is not going to bless you with marriage if you are still indulging in sexual sin. And I did a video um, a couple of days ago about marriage, sexuality, abstinence and all those things. Listen to that video if you haven't listened to it. It's on my channel. 
if you are still engaging in sexual sin and you know that God is prompting you in your heart to quit this thing, to let go of it and surrender to him, obey his voice, obey his words. Because your disobedience to God's word can be costly. And it can hinder you from receiving, you know, the fullness of God's blessing in your life. And in this you know, situation, we're referring to marriage. If you're believing in God for marriage, you must not be, you know, giving yourself into all of these things that are unpure and unholy. Obey his voice. Choosing not to obey him will only hinder and delay your blessing of marriage from God, like I already mentioned. So we must make every effort to continuously obey God and every scriptural instruction in his holy word. And I'm not referring to obeying the Ten Commandments here because Christ has fulfilled that for you. Christ has fulfilled the law for you. So when I say obey God, I mean you must let the anchor of your life be Christ. Receive the whole of him, be surrendered to him and live like him. If you look at it from that perspective, it should help you to understand what it means when, you know, God wants you to obey him. Because there are blessings that are attached to this. There are blessings attached to your obedience to God's word. Before Jesus Christ could receive the promise of God, he had to obey God first. Before Christ could receive the promise of God, he had to obey God first. To know what Christ received by surrendering his life to God. By sowing his life as a seed to, to God. To know what he received. Go into the book of Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. And read everything that it has stated in there. Then you would know. And understand that there are blessings attached to obedience. Because you and I are benefiting from the obedience of Christ on the cross. Amen. So Christ had to obey God first. Before he could receive the blessings, the glory, the riches, the wealth, everything, the praise, the honor. You cannot have Christ in you and have a disobedient spirit. You can't have Christ in you and have a disobedient spirit. Ask God to make you obedient, to give you the spirit and the grace for the life from obedience to his word. This should be your prayer every day. Whether you're waiting for marriage or you're waiting for anything else. Because God is going to test you when you're waiting on him. Whether you're in the wilderness or whether you're out of it and you're still in that season of waiting on him for a divine spouse. He's going to test you. He's going to test your obedience. So pray to him to give you the grace and the spirit to joyfully obey him and his word. Hallelujah. If we look at Philippians chapter 2 verse 8, it says, Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. He humbled himself. We must be humble unto God. We must bring ourselves low before God. We must. It is very essential that we humble ourselves unto him and do what he's asking of us and follow his way, follow his leading because he sees far beyond what we can see with regards to what's in the future. So when he says do something, we need to just simply follow him and say, yes, father. I will, I will, and do it instantly without delay. Do it instantly without delay. Whatever he tells you to do, do it, because there are blessings attached to this. If we look at the life of Abraham, we see the same example of obedience and the reward that is attached to that obedience. Genesis 12, 1 to 2 says, The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11, 8 also says, By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, 
even though he did not know where he was going, he had no clue where he was going. He had no idea what God was talking about. He did not have a single understanding. He had nothing, nothing. He knew nothing about what God was saying, but he obeyed and went. He obeyed and went. If Abraham had not listened and obeyed the word of God to him, he would have never experienced and received the blessings he did. And his descendants also would have suffered because of his disobedience to God's word. Obedience always comes with a great reward. We must always remember that obedience always comes with a great reward. And obedience, as we all know, is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. What you choose to disobey God regarding today, you will pay the cost for tomorrow. What you choose to disobey God regarding today, you will pay the cost for tomorrow. Yes, God loves you and he wants to give you all of these blessings, all of these things, but we must be willing to obey him. Sometimes it can be painful. Sometimes it can be like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Look at Christ. Christ fulfilling his calling was painful, but he surrendered because he knew, he knew that there was going to be a greater reward and blessing and so much more to be received unto himself and his heirs like myself and you. Praise God. So look at the life of Christ and emulate Christ. That is what you need to look at. Look at the life of Christ and emulate Christ and you'll be on your way. To receiving all of God's many blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. One final word I want to leave you all with is this. Whatever we desire, we must be ready to do what is required to enable us receive, achieve, attain, and retain what we desire. Whatever we desire, we must be ready to do what is required to enable us receive, achieve, attain, and retain what we desire. I pray for you all that in the name of Jesus Christ, you receive the spirit of obedience to live a life that pleases God. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the grace of God upon you that will enable you obey God joyfully. And I pray God's blessings be freely and abundantly released to overflow in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And for those believing in God for a divine spouse, I pray in the name of Jesus that God blesses you with marriage in his time as you continue to live a life of love, holiness, and obedience to his every word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. At this point, I would like to invite anyone that hasn't given their life to Christ, or maybe at one point you did, but you backslided. This is your opportunity to say a very short prayer and that will help you reconnect back with God today. So say after me, Oh Lord God, I come to you today. Father, I receive your words and all that you've done on the cross. I believe that you died for me and I know you rose on the third day. Lord, have mercy upon me for every way that I've sinned and wronged you. And I receive your mercy. I receive your grace. I receive your favor and the power to continue to live a life of obedience to your word, to live in for you a life that brings glory. I thank you, Lord, for receiving me. Now I declare that I am saved and I am born again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And to inform you all, next week, Thursday, we have a live healing ministration service here on the channel at 11 p.m. So definitely tune in for that. Anyone that has any form of illness, sickness, disease, whatever it is, definitely come along on that Thursday. Next week, Thursday, the 9th of July, 11 p.m. GMT, London time. And there's going to be ministration going on for healing, praise and worship and so much more. So I look forward to seeing you all on on that day live on the channel so definitely mark that date on your calendar and bring along your family and friends to watch as well to receive god's word and to receive healing in the name of jesus christ i'll see you all soon take care and god bless in jesus name amen